Welcome back to M Hood Fishing, everybody. That's right, I have an e-bike now. It took FedEx over a month to get this e-bike from St. Rose, Louisiana to Bell Chase, Louisiana. It should have been here a long time ago, but FedEx is having problems and the storm gave them just some more problems. So it's finally here. M Hood Fishing now has an awesome e-bike. Yeah, you're right. We came down here to this super chill place. It's Woodland Trails and Park. Now there is a network of trails going through the woods here, but we're not really gonna go down there. It's not really worth it to me for fishing anyway. If I was out here just on a, a nature walk, yeah, awesome. But you don't get a lot of access to the canal and that's it right here. It's called Planters Canal. There's another small one way back there. Really the only thing back there that you can go to and find fishing or access to the fishing is a bridge and we're not going to go that far best fishing is going to be right in here right around here is going to be the better part of it so it is just now after four o'clock didn't take me long to get out here this is a little further than i would normally go on the other bike but with the e-bike i have a much greater range and i can get to places and still have a lot of energy and not be winded when i get there Awesome. It didn't, did not take long to get here at all. Maybe about 15 minutes to 10, in between 10 and 15 minutes. I'm, I'm pr in a pretty good mood today. All right, let's get some fish. Brought two rods and some different bit of tackle today. But the first rod is the ultralight that I want to get at because we want some bait for tomorrow's catfish session. So let's see if we can do that. And then we'll get at this bass rod later. You guessed it. Gonna drop shot this red wiggler out there. See if we can pick up some bait. Later on, I might switch to a little jig for the bait, but right now, since it's so early in the afternoon, I think this red wiggler is gonna be much more productive than any soft plastic. This water, as you can see, is pretty muddy looking, pretty red. Yeah, even though it hasn't rained in a couple days, this water looks like it just rained yesterday. This is a small drainage canal. If I didn't say before, it's called Planters Canal. It's fairly shallow for the most part. It does have a lot of panfish in it and bass. There's cichlids over here as well. Those things are everywhere now. I made a switch, switched it up a little bit. We're going to fish that same size six Aberdeen underneath a cork now at about almost three feet of a depth. Take, take, take. Ooh, got him. Nice. Ooh, put up a good fight. What do we have? Oh. I don't even have a landing net near me. Got a little, little gar here. This is only six pound test, which is, it's not... Not underrated for this fish, but for his teeth, perhaps. All right. I kind of beached him a little bit. He's not freaking out too bad. So here we go. Got this ready. Back out into the swim for my little gar. <laughs> Just gently scoop you up. Got him in there. Finally, 
he's just a slippery little guy. He's not very big, just a little, little bit over one foot. First fish for the e-bike. Yeah, you're right. Wow, this is usually a really popular place to come and fish for stuff like cichlids and bluegill and other panfish, but not popular today. Barely got a bite from anything like that. Did get the one gar. So I'm not gonna get outdone by it. We're going to cruise around on the e-bike down here a ways and see if we can find some spots with a little more, a little more fish. This e-bike has a top speed of the high 20s, but I'm just gonna cruise along and pedal assist one, checking these spots out. Look at that, look at that, I'm finally getting a bite. Just take it, take it. Oh, we got it. What do we got this time? Oh no, no, yeah, no. Heaviest thing caught all day, but the shortest thing as well. Come on, guy, don't break my pole. Ah, oh, dang turtles. Yeah, you're right. All right, all right, I'm giving up on this canal, but the great news is I still have tons of energy. I have enough energy to ride home, chill out for a bit, and then go do something else. I'm not totally sapped for energy, and that's the point of why I got the e-bike. Increases my range, Gets me places faster. Yeah, lots of new adventures coming, guys. All right. Thanks for watching and subscribing and all that good stuff. First fish for the e-bike. Yeah, you're right. All right, guys. See you next time.